the atoms like each other, the different degrees. Uh, oxygen, for instance, in the air would like to be next to carbon, and if they get near each other, they snap together. If they're not too close, though, they repel and they go apart, so they don't know that they could snap together. It's just as if you had a ball that was trying to climb a hill and there was a hole it could go into, like a volcano hole, a deep one. It's rolling along, it doesn't go down in the deep hole because if it starts to climb the hill and then rolls away again. But if you made it go fast enough, it'll fall into the hole. And so if you have something like wood in oxygen, there's carbon in the wood from a tree, and the oxygen comes and hits it carbon, but not hard enough. It just goes away again. And the air is always coming, nothing's happening. If you can get it faster by heating it up somehow, somewhere, somehow, get it started, a few of them come fast. They go over the top, so to speak. They come close enough to the carbon and snap in. And that gives a lot of jiggly motion which might hit some other atoms, making those go faster so they can climb up and bump against other carbon atoms, and they jiggle, and they make mothers jiggle, and you get a terrible catastrophe, which is one after the other. All these things are going faster and faster and snapping in, and the whole thing is changing. That catastrophe is a fire. It's just a way of looking at it, and these things are happening. They perpetual, once it gets started, it keeps on going. The heat makes the other atoms capable of reaching to make more heat to make other atoms and so on so this terrible snapping is producing a lot of jiggling and if i put with all that activity of the atoms there and i put a cup of coffee over that mess of wood that's doing this it's going to get a lot of jiggling so that's what the heat of the fire is 